Hello, Ha Ha, how we feeling? Woo! I'll tell you how I think you're all feeling. I think you think looks matter the most. Because everyone in here keeps giving pup tender paws bullshit. <laughs> Let me tell you something, that is a goddamn good pup. Right? Yeah, I know him. Yeah, he approached me when I was wearing nothing but underwear with a bullet in Burbank. I was ripped for you. He decides to hide his beauty for your sake. So high, you would know what the fuck to do with yourself. I don't Show know us. You know? God, he's so beautiful. You too. Just want to go on a date, like a pull-up bar with you, you know. He's that buff. You just hang out. <laughs> But guys, I have a terrible uh, attention span. You know, ADHD permeates so much of my life. I shaved all my pubes off yesterday and I haven't trimmed my nails in weeks, you know? <laughs> stupid, Dario. People see your nails. <laughs> but I've seen my non-existent pubic hair. Except maybe Pup, if you would like. <laughs> and Percy, if he has no toes. No, thank you. I know, he has no toes. I'll send that to you, Percy. No! <laughs> his face, but uh, I'm in a similar um, community with uh, Mr. Tenderpaws, and that's the furry community. I'm a furry. If you don't know what a furry is, um, it's very close. This girl, of course, she said, I. You know what a furry is? I know. Wow. That's good. Thank you. You're an ally, madam. Uh, you know, oh, is that right? Huge fans of anthropomorphic animal characters. We use those animal uh, personas to get rid of our human flaws, get rid of our race, our gender, our back acne, our autism, <laughs> our neurodivergent. You know, I think I'm joking, but I spend so much time on Twitter every day <laughs> pretending I'm a hyena. <laughs> oh my god. And I, pretend. <laughs> <laughs> and I just scroll and I see all these, uh, some, some furries get fur suits. Now you see he has a pup mask. Uh, first suit is the whole body. So sometimes I'm just thirsting over these people I've never, I don't even know what the fuck they look like. And I'm like, am I the most moral person in the world? Like, it is what's on the inside that matters, right? Like, that's what we're all told. Like, it's always more important what's on the inside. But the outside has so much more power, you know? It's what we think and see first is the outside. Like, you know, these furries, they might be beautiful, Maybe a raccoon boy. You know, <laughs> you know, there's many species I could name, but maybe we'll say raccoon boy. You know, he's got a little cute tail. He's flirting. There's all this art of him like winking and like he's got bulges. And maybe we've been talking. Hey, Adara, you're a cute little yeen. Oh, am I? <laughs> oh my. How about you suck my dick? You know. Like, it gets to that point in a much more nuance. We don't have a lot of time, but um. <laughs> but then once I see them in person, maybe they are. You know, maybe they're very large. Maybe they don't bathe. Maybe they're too awkward. They want to sit on the floor at dinner. <laughs> it's happened. And I still, I still am going to fuck them, you know? You don't want to be so oh my God. Way, Actually, we were having a lot of a virtual sex, but I think now I should not, you know, I don't think we should do that. I think we should fuck people based on what's on their insides. <laughs> That's ideally, people. Ideally, we should let them know what's on their inside, okay? Uh, I'm from Kentucky, so I'm so happy to be in a, a place that makes me feel so comfortable on stage to be myself. Uh, I just visited home and I was like super uncomfy. Super uncomfy, you know? It's like, you, in Kentucky, they just sit still and they watch, you know, like Law and Order and murder <laughs> documentaries like all day. And you're like, we gotta be hustling, mama. Like, spending a week out of LA for this? Like, we should go see people or some shit. Like, I can't sit here with the chihuahuas all day, mom. And I love those dogs. My dad doesn't understand my polyamorous life. I'm in a polyamorous relationship. I have a partner of 10 years. He's a husky. 
And I have a boyfriend of one year. He's a lion. A lot of animals in my life. I'm like a farmer. Uh, I like the zoo. I'm like this bad zookeeper. Rawr. I keep all the animals. Uh, but my dad doesn't get it, you know? He, I, I told him, I was like, you know, I have a boyfriend now too, Dad. Like, and he has a boyfriend too. And he goes, but what if his boyfriend, Adario, gets jealous and kills you? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's never gonna happen because I'm fucking him too. <laughs> see, he's not gonna shoot me because I've disarmed him. <laughs> oh, oh I've already thought ahead, you old bastard. <laughs> I think more men in my my personal family should talk to me about this because all my besides my stepdad, all my biological, like my granddad and my dad, they're all whores. <laughs> they cheated on their their people. Uh, they knocked up probably some multiple families, maybe not so much granddad, but he had a nickname, they called him Wolf. I thought that was cool because he was like a policeman. I thought that meant like, you know, he's taking down drug dealers. My mom's like, no, he's fucking on your grandma. You know, he's cheating around. That's why they called him Wolf. But Aww. I'm not having that problem that my father, my Puerto Rican Italian father has, where he's leaving kids in Germany. He just dumping loads in country after country because he's in the military. I'm over here putting it in one place. <laughs> I'm not getting pregnant, and I'm so happy about all that. But lately I have a new challenge in my LGBT journey, and it's jerking off to men coming in pussies. And um, <laughs> it's really scary, you guys, because I've spent my whole life being gay. You know, I'm from fucking Kentucky, you know how hard it was just to come out as gay? I can't go back as by and have them be like, I knew you like pussy. <laughs> I've never had pussy. I, think I, I fingered a girl in art class in middle school for like a second. You know, her name was Chastity. You know, and so, uh, she turned out to be a lesbian. So I've never had sex with a woman, but I, I just don't know. Something about this lately is just so, it's just, it makes me put it on the porn. I don't think I ever am going to have sex with a woman. Maybe if she was in a full fursuit and I just like, I don't know, I don't know, I'm gonna get there right now, but. <laughs> but maybe, you know, I feel like if a woman did it, like I don't like women, how they smell. I'm not saying you stink, but I just fuck you smell. I don't like long hair, you know, get you my fucking drink. I don't know what it is, but if a girl did try to fuck me, I feel like I would be scared. I'd be like, this isn't like the movies. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to get better at topping, you guys. This is, this is helping. This is helping a lot. My name is Dario Mercadante. Thank you so much. Uh,